Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this special edition of Earth from Space. We are just months away from the launch of Sentinel 2A, which is the second satellite to be launched for Europe's Copernicus program. Last week, I got a chance to see the satellite in the clean room at IABG in Munich. And I got to speak with Wolfgang Pitts from Airbus Defense and Space about the testing that has been taking place at the facility. Let's take a look. We're here today at IABG in Munich, and I'm speaking with Wolfgang Pitts, who is the head of European programs for Airbus Defense and Space. And behind us is the Sentinel-2A satellite. Now, Wolfgang, can you begin by telling us a bit about why we're dressed the way we are? Why does the satellite need to be in a, in a clean environment? Well, the satellite uh, consists of very delicate electronics and optics, and uh, we need to take care that uh, there is no contamination. So, because particles of dust on the lens could really uh, invalidate our pictures, and uh, the environment needs to be controlled, so there can't be too much humidity. You can imagine if we have a little drop of water somewhere in the electronics, this will lead to an electric short, and this is why we are wearing these clothes. Now, of course, you've been carrying out a series of tests on the satellite. Can you give me an overview? What sort of tests have you done? Before we send the satellite into space, we do a series of final tests simply to check if the satellite is fit for flight. And that includes, for instance, checking if the satellite will survive the, uh, the launch on, on the rocket and if the satellite will perform well once it's in deep space. And how did these tests go? Well, they went absolutely fine, so Sentinel-2 is ready for launch. Now, about the shaking the satellite, how is that done? What does that entail? Well, you have to imagine, um, during a rocket launch, there are very, very violent vibrations on, on the top of the rocket under the launcher fairing under the hood. And uh, we simulate that by putting the satellite on uh, what we call a shaker table and then we vibrate the satellite and simply demonstrate that the satellite will survive these vibrations. Now I understand you've also done a light tightness test. Why was this done and how did that go? Well, um, Sentinel-2 has a very sensitive camera on board and uh, of course like with every camera you want the light only to go in through the camera opening. So what we did was we simply put a cover over the opening and illuminated the camera with, a, with, with bright light to see if light gets in through some, some other slits or holes. And of course it didn't, so set light is perfectly, the camera is perfectly light tight. Now I understand you also have to perform tests about s regarding separating the satellite from the rocket and opening the solar wing. How is that done and in fact where exactly does it separate here? Well, um, the satellite is separated at the bottom here. Uh, this is called uh, the launcher adapter where it's fixed to this trolley. And the separation is done with uh, so-called pyrotechnical devices. So little ex explosive charges which accelerate a little knife and the knife cuts through a bolt and the satellite is released. And we simply do this on ground and check if this really works to be sure the satellite separates from the launcher. Now is that done here in this room or is that done in a different area? Oh, for, uh, for these tests, of course, we need safety. There are explosive de uh, uh, devices, ex explosive charges, so we went into our acoustic chamber, which has very thick walls, and our people are safe while we are firing these, these charges. Now, of course, in order for the satellite to get power, it needs a solar wing, which, of course, is not attached to the satellite right now. Where is it right now? Well, it's in its box. It's stored away and a controlled environment, so uh, we will mount it later in Kourou. We'll transport this uh, uh, separately from, uh, from the spacecraft, we'll mount it in Kourou, and then we'll test if it deploys properly, and then it's fit for flight. Well, Wolfgang, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Well, to learn more about these Sentinel satellites and about Europe's Copernicus program, you can visit our dedicated webpage at www.esa.int/copernicus. I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels. Thanks for watching.